a lot of people think you have to have a certain a potion to make subscribers day. I don't. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Teray, and today I'm gonna to be making a video about 1,000 subscribers, editing, all your questions answered for you to start your own YouTube. I get a lot of questions now since I've gotten the fan base that I have and my YouTube channel to be where it is. A lot of people are like, how? And I'm like, honestly, I don't know but I'm gonna help you and we'll go down memory lane and see if I can clarify something. And this is how it started. I started my channel August 2019. I actually was thinking about YouTube for a very long time before this. What ended up happening was I have self-esteem issues, which not surprising if you've been watching this channel, that's me, that's me on a silver platter. But it's been something that, that I've been really struggling with for years because I've always been too white for black people and too black for white people. So I, I never really had a place where I belonged and I wanted to start my own YouTube. I was like, I can't. And my reasoning was because I'm not successful. I'm not as pretty as everybody else on here. I don't have an eye for aesthetics. Like I, I'm a horrible artist. Let's just be honest here. I cannot draw to save my life. Stick figures maybe, but that's it. Even for editing, it scared me because I didn't understand and I didn't think that I could create something of my own. That was my self-esteem. Still is my self-esteem. We're working on it. It's a work in progress, but if you are nervous about starting your own YouTube channel, don't be. Just do it. I get so many comments from people who are asking me, how do you have 1,000 subscribers? And honestly, I just tell them, like, start from scratch. People are like, oh, I gotta buy an expensive camera. No, start with your cell phone. I literally started with this phone in 2019. Why? Because I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start from the ground up and I'm gonna go from zero to whatever it takes me because I actually love making videos. I love doing this and I need to get past my own fears, my own insecurities to get what I wanted. So start with your phone. It's not gonna look stellar unless you have like the latest iPhone or something like that. And that's okay. Um, one thing that I had to learn was angles. I used to have, when I had my bookshelf, in my videos, I used to sit in front of my bookshelf on the floor, uncomfortable for hours. Hours doing this. Now I have my computer chair, I have my other camera, which is a Canon GX Mark II. It is very expensive. <laughs> um, I will put all these links down below of Cambridge, but I really like my PowerShot GX7. Mostly because it's wider, you, you can see me better. Um, I definitely think that for a, my phone, it was very close up on my face. Inner Monologue, part two, was on one of my albums I should have reviewed, but I didn't because I was too scared to. Now I can like, go in if I need to, like this, and I can go out if I need to, like that. So you see me more. And also, I think that's where a lot of my image issues came from, was having it, the camera be so close to my face that I was very, very nervous. And it, we're gonna just put a, bit, a picture of my first video on this channel. My hair was not done. Like, what you see is what you get with Teray. It, it just is. And I was so nervous about my first video because, like, there's nobody who looks like me. Like, I have acne marks and things like that. I know I'm not appealing. I know if I was, like, maybe a little prettier, um, <laughs> a lot of people would click on my videos. And that is just not me. I'm not going to sell you something that is not authentically Teray. And that's that. Uh, since then, I've definitely changed my appearance. Like my nails are done, my like hair is done, like what? So just start from somewhere. And if you have image issues like I do, don't be afraid. YouTube is a place for everybody, whether you think that you have a place or not. So 
that was my thing. Secondly, uh, what software did I use? Um, looking back at my old videos, because I have like an entire list of things I want to talk about for this video. I use first the Microsoft Photos and Videos, which is a basic software that comes with your PC. <sighs> man, rough, man, rough. Like I, I did not enjoy that it got the job done but the thing is for album reaction videos you need a software like this software windows movie maker i think i upgraded to and then i also went to adobe right after that um windows movie maker and microsoft are both for videos that are like less than 10 minutes you guys have seen my album reactions they are not less than 10 minutes so i had to definitely upgrade to adobe premiere so that's what i use i use the adobe products um my thumbnails i use the adobe photoshop which took me a long time to learn um editing it does not come easy i am still trying to figure out how to add sound effects literally i will record something and then add that to the adobe it's like if you know any of any sites that have sound effects that I can use Adobe Premiere, please put them down below. It would be a lifesaver. I'm still looking. And that's one thing that I think that a lot of people get frustrated with on YouTube is actually, this is a continuing learning process. You are going to get frustrated. Technology is not going to work sometimes. And that is the most frustrating part of my life. <laughs> It, it is if you look back through my entire catalog my computer quit my phone couldn't was duplicating files so it was said, saying i was it was completely full when it wasn't that's another thing if you're going to use your phone make sure you have a backup i use google um photos with pictures make sure it has a backup because what's going to happen is it's going to duplicate your stuff and then it's gonna say it's all filled up and it's gonna have only count the one, the original one as space on your phone. So it's gonna fill up with duplicates and then all of a sudden you're gonna have this space where it's free, space where it's filled because all these duplicates are is of your videos. So use a Google Photos um, thing, storage thing, use a cloud or something like that. But going back to my computer, I had to upgrade my computer um because it killed my other one it literally killed it i now use alienware um i would recommend this laptop to anyone if you my goal is to get to a desktop sooner or later but um right now i have an alienware laptop um i would recommend that laptop to anybody it's really really good at editing it's fast it renders fast and um i have not had any problems with it at all but if you're using because i know people have iphones i'm a samsung person i'm a cheap bitch let's just be honest i i like things that work and i also like the customization of samsung but like that's a whole different conversation if you're using i like iphone um imac i know they have like imovie um you can get like final cut pro things like that of um software to use I don't know how to use that stuff, so I'm not the one to ask, but I know there's videos on YouTube you can watch for that. If you're gonna use your laptop, uh, get a storage to plug in my laptop so I wasn't taking up storage on my laptop because that will happen. Um, and it will slow down like the whole process and things like that. I started YouTube at zero. So literally I had zero, zero subscribers. In a year, I hit a thousand. That is pretty good, especially with all the software issues and things like that I had. Um, if you don't get to a thousand, that's okay. I think a lot of people give up because they don't, they are frustrated. And it's easy to get frustrated on YouTube. It's very easy. Um, one thing is I would reply to comments. Um, with my channel now, I think the most frustrating part of it is I have a full-time job with this and I can't get reactions out as fast as I want them to. 
a lot of people can get reactions out because they have the time to actually sit there. There are people who edit for 17 hours on their video. I used to edit in a day. Like there's, that was my thing. It's very difficult because a lot of people don't have empathy. They don't have sympathy for your time. They do not. They want the reaction video and you didn't give them the reaction video, so bye. That's okay. And that's all right. I'm gonna tell you that, that's all right. Because the people who actually love your videos and actually love your personality and know that you have a nice heart and you're actually doing this to be kind and actually form a community, they'll stay. A lot of people think you have to have a certain a potion to make subscribers stay. I don't. There was a few times where I snapped on a couple people. Um, there was one where they wanted me to react to another video that I already put up. And they kept spamming me and spamming me and spamming me. And I was like, it's on my channel. Like, I can't be any more clear. It's on my channel. Copyright. Copyright, if you're gonna be a reactor to music, copyright is the biggest enemy you will have. I'm not even kidding, it is. A lot of people are like, well, you cut out this part of the song. Um, in my last video for um, Freak by Doja Cat, copyright, cut it out. They cut out so much of that video that literally I'm sitting there for two minutes and I cannot, you cannot hear me. And it's because of the amount of song I had in there. They cut it out. Um, copyright is not, it is serious. Like you think it's all fun and games, it's actually very serious. Um, and when I would say, hey, copyright took all that, a lot of people get mad with my reaction. They'd be like, you talk too much during the video. It's my reaction. You should have already watched the video. You should already know what sound, what picture, things like that I'm reacting to, you know? Um, I, but I don't wanna be offensive, I don't wanna be rude, but sometimes it just gets underneath your skin. Because some of the m most amazing reactors that I even listen to, um, they have a reaction for something, but it's not there. Like, I was just watching somebody I used to watch a long time ago and their video is dead silent. It's dead silent. And I remember that part being like, oh my God, they're gonna lose their mind. I love this part and it was dead silent. And it was just copyright. Monetization, let's get into that. Uh, after a year I got monetized. I did not think I was gonna get monetized because I thought I started my channel in July. So, I thought, oh, I'm not gonna get monetized because I missed the deadline. Cool, I'll keep making videos, I'll try for next year. But then I realized, oh, I, I did it in August. So I'm actually monetized on YouTube now. Uh, my total earnings for this month so far is $2.60. <laughs> <Like>, <laughs> uh, rich bitch over here, you know? Um, but again, you should not be starting YouTube to earn money. You should be starting YouTube to actually want to talk about the things you want to talk about and have an audience for it. I started YouTube with one primary thing in mind, which was to actually be around people who were like-minded as me. I love music. I sleep, eat, breathe music. First thing I grab in, my, in the morning, my phone, why? Gotta put on music. Um, that is who I am. I relate more to people who talk about music than any other thing. Any other thing. It's just who I am. Period. Um, so if you're going to start your own YouTube channel, do it on something you actually love to do. <laughs> I feel music more than anything in this world. I don't know why. I'm just waiting for the reaction where I lose my clothes and it turns into an OnlyFans account. I'm just waiting. When I would start um, reacting to albums and things like that, Banks was one of my favorite artists. Oh my God. But I was, used to be so scared of reacting because I was like, what if people see? What if my family finds out? What if 
things happen and people did they found out um now i post it on social media all the time i'm i'm still very very anxious about starting a tiktok account i have a tiktok I'm still like that's one of my fears maybe I'll join TikTok but each year I want to do something that pushes me further what I hope for the future of this channel I should probably talk about the future is I love my job <laughs> I am a behavioral specialist um, a lot of you don't probably know what that is um, I watch kids and make sure they're not getting into trouble because the kids that I watch are very impulsive. They have uh, abused people, they steal, lie, threaten, uh, victimize, everything. Those are my kids. Um, and that's what I deal with. So there have been several times where I have been doing YouTube <laughs> and I will be editing for a very long time and somebody will say something of you aren't doing the reaction that i want when i have just gotten off of a 12-hour shift these kids <laughs> we assist them to the floor they call you every name in the book and that is my job so sometimes when i come home it is very hard for me to get into that mindset of doing work <laughs> this work um not that i don't like doing reaction videos and don't like listening to like i love listening to music i love listening to music uh new music i'm just so tired at the end of the night that i just don't want to do it um you need to find that balance if i can give you any advice find that balance i still am trying to find that balance just because my work schedule is not concrete it switches every single week so sometimes I wake up in the morning, sometimes I can go there, I'm done by four, I can come home, edit. Um, but some there's some night, times where I have the night shift. So I might be there and the, they ask me to come in early. So I might be there at 11 and I only got maybe eight to 11 to edit. It kind of takes away your social life. <laughs> so um, I'm trying to find that balance. I'm still trying um, and that's okay um, you're not gonna make money off this right away I know a lot of people join YouTube to try to make money um, that's not my main priority my main priority was to give artists um, that I loved and that I felt like didn't get the recognition that they wanted a spotlight um, and I'm still doing that I'm just trying to figure out a better system and a better way um, I do love reaction videos I don't I'm starting to dabble into reviews I but I don't think and people are not probably already clicked off this video and that's fine I don't like I don't think people like listening to my voice for that long and that's the thing that's the issue here but I feel like that's maybe where I'm going to veer to but I do want to keep music in the video I do that is my thing so I have to figure out what's gonna work for me and what's not and I'm still figuring it out it's a work in progress I'm not going to like shoot for the moon I'm not going to you know wish something out of the stars but that is my goal that is my wish um, hopefully we'll get there if not that's okay we'll try harder next year i really want to do terry reacts in a car um and plus i just want to drive with the windows down and listen to an album because that's literally my favorite time and my best friend has a car is when i can listen to an album windows are down and i just feel everything right now what i do is in my room i have a strobe light and all the colors go around i turn off all the lights and i listen to an album and i digest that shit i recently just got my driver's license um i passed my test if you saw on twitter i updated you guys there um so i'm trying to afford a car and i really want one and that's also why i'm pulling so many hours at my job is i'm trying to get money to get a car because right now going back and forth and it probably would actually cut down my um recording time too because usually an hour before i have to go to work i have to get ready i have to go 
um, I walk to work or I Lyft or Uber. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just a balance and I gotta figure out how to do that. But I would love to do Trey Reacts in a car someday. It may not happen in a couple of years, but I would like to do that. Um, what else for this channel? I would love to do giveaways on this channel. Um, yeah, I would love to do giveaways. Um, I was gonna do it with Taylor Swift's folklore and then I got disappointed and didn't. <laughs> Which, by the way, I do love Taylor Swift's lover more than that album. Um, but that's just me. That's... That's me. <laughs> um, lastly, I just want to say thank you for watching me. I don't think I've said that enough. And I'm trying really, really hard to keep my balance in my schedule. Um, but a lot of you don't know that. You don't know that because you haven't clicked on my personal videos or anything like that and that's okay um just know that i am also a person too and i try so hard to edit and upload and and do this on a normal basis it's just sometimes it's getting very hard um goals for this channel ooh, 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 we getting into it i would like to be at 2000 in a year um my next year i would like to be at 2000 subscribers so. but if you don't think you can do youtube do it just do it just see what happens um put your toe in the water and see if it floats like <laughs> if you have any more questions let me know down in the comment section um i'm trying to upload this today and um so you guys can let me know and i can help at all all right, that is it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! I feel like that is where I need to be. I need to have somebody who drove by watch me <laughs> freak out in my car. <laughs>